So this is an interesting case uh, of uh, uh, chronic uh, scar ectopic pregnancy. Here you can see the uterus is in the societal section on transvaginal sonography. You can see that uh, there is hypoechoic uh, uh, area just near the scar and uh, there is a cystic space in the anterior wall of the cervix with uh, a kind of yolk sac inside it. Uh, so the arrow is pointing towards that. So this is the one which caused uh, confusion whether it is uh, <coughs> cervical pregnancy, scar pregnancy, the patient has been bleeding for uh, more than a month. Her last period was in October. I saw her on 24th of uh, January and UPT was positive in November. On 24th of January, UPT was negative. So this is the blood flow of the same. So it doesn't really show much of the blood flow. You can see that the hypoechoic area which you are seeing is uh, just at the caesarean uh, scar and you can see the bladder anteriorly patient is uh, severely anemic her hemoglobin is uh, 7 grams per cent and uh, her uh, uh, bleeding is very very heavy she's changing about six to seven pads a day so i put her on letrozole 5 mg od for five days and i did the rescan uh, yesterday so here you can see the same uh, uh, cystic space in the cervix and uh, the hypoechoic area which was there at the cesarean scar has uh, drastically come down she is symptomatically much better now there is absolutely no bleeding the flow uh, it is the same there is not much of blood flow inside so that means it is not an active pregnancy uh, also the uh, the lesion in the cervix is also not significant so in such cases better to avoid uh, actively doing a dnc or doing a usg guided aspiration also because uh, it's quite risky at that time